y'all welcome back to your girl channel welcome back to another late sea topics discussion if y'all are new just make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up make sure you like make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any other topics discussions ever we can straight into the video okay so today's topic discussion is about individualistic individualism individualistic period I just have to talk about this today because say for example you are with your man or you just found this new guy you know what i'm saying everything is going smooth with this new guy he is treating you right or you are treating him right um you want everything to work so good you just you just loving the vibe or whatever but you are putting your all into everything so it's like the guy is not even able to be up to par you know what i'm saying he don't even have a chance to show you who he really is because you want to do everything um you want to set up every goal set up every um event and i'm saying this because that used to be me honestly like i used to want to do everything when i used to um first got in a relationship and i'm just trying to figure out like why am i trying to do everything it really don't add up, y'all. Like, why are you trying to do everything in a relationship? You and your partner are in a relationship so you all can be the best that y'all can be. Not one, not, you know what I'm saying? Not one, not the other. It's it's a team effort. So when you're in a relationship, it takes two to mango. To tank, what is called? Tango, mango, whatever. It takes two. So in a relationship, you have to give your spouse or your partner the opportunity to express themselves. You got to give them the opportunity to show you who they really are. And the same things with is friendship. The same things goes for friendship. If you have a friend and y'all are not seeing eye to eye, you know, it's okay to now. It depends on what's going on. Now, it's okay to fall out with someone because of some trifling stuff that, you know what I'm saying, that should have never happened. Because cold is cold. You know what I'm saying? Woo. Yeah, a cold is a cold. So, I definitely understand, like, if you're falling out with your friend over something crazy. But I'm saying, like, if you can make it work, if you can actually sit down and talk with him, if you can... um go meet up to have meetings about you know just different good stuff that you should be doing on a daily basis there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing it with your spouse with your partner um that's the same thing but <laughs> with your um anybody your spouse your friend your cousin your family you should be coming together reuniting you know what i'm saying reuniting making connections making memories making long lasting memories and decisions and i say all of that because individualism and individualistic if you take a look at america right now you take a look at all of your surroundings you take a look at what's going on everybody's really for themselves nobody is really showing the characteristics of family anymore like i mean i mean a family now i understand well i understand if you have like a household now if you have a household you don't really have family like that that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You can start with your family. But it's like I see everybody, even if they do have kids, what legacy are you all leaving for generations? You know what I'm saying? What can y'all do when y'all come together? What discussions needs to be talked about to make a change in this corrupt world? Because like I said, it's very individualistic and individual. Um, Yeah, it's very individualistic out here in this world because it's like everywhere I turn... You know what I'm saying? Everybody is for themselves. Now, I done discussed this many times um, on this topic discussions with me. I done discussed that I am the only child. So, it was different for me being raised up. But one thing I can say for sure, my mom made sure I was around my peoples growing up. I knew all my cousins. I knew my aunties. I knew my, um, um, the older cousins, the, all of that, uncle, grandparents, I went over there, even down to my dad's side. She took me over there. So, it's not like I didn't know who my people was. You know what I'm saying? But as I got older, of course, things, it just, it go their separate ways. That's It be like that sometimes. But if you do have a, a, a clique or if you do have a crew or anybody, if you come in contact with people, make sure you are... Um, Building connections, doing things that's going to be worth um, living for. 
that's going to be long lasting, long longevity. Because if you have a friend circle, you all supposed to shine. You all supposed to get money. It can't just be one breadwinner in the circle. All of y'all can be breadwinners. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I have like a a good set of friends, like genuine, um, understand each other, we can discuss anything. All of us is going to be shining. All of us is going to be looking amazing doing what we have. But yeah, like all of my crew, all the entire entire group community, we are going to be good. We are going to be straight. There's no reason why you can link up with your people just to go get some food, go eat out at the restaurant, or just to go clubbing or partying, but y'all not making no real, you know what I'm saying, no legacy, no foundation. What are y'all doing for your generation, generation kids? What are y'all doing for your kids' generation? Not just your generation. But your kids, kids generation, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's a real topic that we all need to be discussing all the time with our friends and our peers. Like, what can we be doing better? If we can go out and we can drink and we can, you know, all this type of stuff, we should definitely be trying to make some money together, honestly. Because there is so much negativity in this world. You never know what someone is going through. That's why I try to spread love the best way I can. And I know I can come off harsh sometimes with certain things. And I'm working on that. I am not perfect. One thing about Telexis, I am not perfect, okay? I am working on things. I am a work in progress just like any and everybody else. For real, like just like any and everybody else. So it's like, I definitely understand if, you know, it's hard to come in contact with people that is on your level and that is really trying to do something with themselves. I understand that because it's hard these days and times. It's really hard to come by great, genuine people that's like you. So I, I understand that completely, 100%. <sighs> But we are in a world, if you look around, look at America. We are in a world where it's everybody for themselves. Pac said it best. It's going to be like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, push, push. Get out my face. Yeah, I'm to get out my way. Give me that money. I'm doing whatever I can to get this paper and to get this money. And if y'all hear this loud noise out here in this apartment complex, I don't know what they're doing. I think people are moving in. They're working on different apartments and they're being, you know, very loud. So... That's what happens. But yeah, y'all. So, being individualistic is just not the way to go. Honestly. Like, me right now, I would consider myself... I wouldn't consider myself individualistic. Now, if I had more people I can depend on and actually, you know, talk to, I would. But in today's time, like with family and stuff, everybody be having their own stuff going on. Everybody be doing their own thing. Everybody be, whether it's working a job, they done had kids, you know, they can't really spend time with you. But honestly, I feel like people make time for who they want to make time for. And that's really a true saying. So in my predicament, I would say I'm not individualistic. I definitely love spending time with my family and speaking some real stuff with them. I just haven't really got around to do it yet. And I feel like that's just a part of how I grew up. So if you feel the way I feel, like you can't express yourself around certain people in your family or around yes, a certain crew, comment below. Because we have to talk about it, y'all. We really have to talk about it. Because I feel like no matter who you hang around or no matter who you have in your life, you should be able to express yourself. Um, if you have people around you, whether it's family or whoever... And you can't express yourself. Something's not right. I feel like that's just not the. It's just not the crew for you. Or maybe you just need to work on yourself. Maybe you got some insecurities that you are dealing with. Um, and that's causing you not to be able to open up. Maybe your third chakra is closed. And your third chakra is your communication skills. And your communication chakra. So maybe that could be closed. So it's different ways you can elevate and work on that third chakra. You can meditate. Um, I, I say this all the time now. You can either meditate, you can just do some yoga, you can um, light some incense, whatever you need to do to get that third chakra open. There's there's different ways. Um, sitting up straight, it's all this different type of stuff that can really help you out with it. But yeah, so I felt like back then, 
I felt like I really didn't have anyone to open up to. And I felt like, and I said in the last topic, I felt like it could be cause of insecurities. And, um, yeah, just pretty much insecurities, honestly, because I didn't really know, like, maybe they're going to judge me about this. Maybe they'll judge me about that. But, honestly, it don't matter who going to judge you. You are the own author of your own book. You judge your own self. But don't judge yourself too bad that you putting yourself down. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying you be your own author, your own critique as well. But, y'all, for real, we got to come together. We definitely got to come together with people. We got to show people more love. I feel like the love has gone. It done flew away somewhere, far, far away. Love has gone. I don't know where it's been, where it went at. But I don't be seeing that much love no more like we did back in the days. Like back in the 90s and all of that generation, I used to actually, I used to feel it. Like when I used to watch a show or a movie, I actually felt genuine love. Now I feel like it's just, where is it now? So I feel like it starts with each other. If you have a click, start with your crew. Start with your crew. You and your crew, y'all sit down together. And y'all talk about some real stuff, like some real life goals, some real genuine um, peace of mind. That's going to help y'all. Like whether if you have a group of women discussing like things that y'all know y'all need to be like on a higher level with, whether that's meditation, um, being a goddess. Just, you know, different stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm being distracted right now. They are extremely loud. But yeah, the power is in you all. The power is in your crew, your group, set of people, being loved. You can conquer the world, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Alright, y'all. I'm going to have to cut this one short. They are being so loud. I'm going to see y'all in the next topic discussion.